bullying victim who took his own life last month. The baby's death on January 14th. Being bullied relentlessly at school killed himself. His daughter Megan committed suicide. Asher's mom and stepfather say that he was bullied to death. It Sometimes things they say to me are, are really Sometimes I feel terrified. Some days I'm just afraid to go to school. Um, I was bullied when I was at school. It just continued to get worse and worse, and I don't really understand why. I feel kind of awkward because I don't really have anyone to talk to. Sometimes I do, but other times it can be really awkward because I can be the only one, and I just feel like, why are they doing this to me? Being a parent of a child who is bullied at school, it's heartbreaking. I feel very sad when I get bullied and sometimes a little angry and frustrated. People call me a midget and a hobbit because I'm so short. And someone wrote loser on my name tag on my desk and I didn't know who did it but it still hurts. But sometimes it doesn't because I get used to it. When I was bullied, I, I cried a lot and I would just go home and like, I would just feel like I had nobody to talk to, but I was so wrong because there's always somebody you can talk to. It scares me when my son says he'd rather not live anymore. He doesn't want to deal with it. And I think the worst fe like, feeling about being bullied is just totally feeling alone and there's no way to turn. And I would hold it all in and just let it build on me and build on me and build on me. And I found out that was not the answer. The minute I started to like talk to, especially your parents and your family, it, got, it started to get better because of the release. Every day when I send my son off to school, I just pray for him that he makes it through the day, that he stays strong, that he can just withstand the day. At the time, of course, you feel terrible and you feel like no one else in the world will listen to you and they think you're crazy and stuff like that. And I was really bad about talking to people about it and I, I held it in for a long time and then it would become a big issue and I would be really upset with myself. So now I think I would I would definitely say talk to people right away when it happens because adults will always listen because uh, everyone's been bullied at some point in their life and they will understand. The bullying didn't stop after the first time. It continued throughout the summer and they got my camp friends against me too. Like I felt scared at first when that all happened. Like I didn't know what to do because like I've never had someone tell me that they like hated me before. So what I did was like like I was like really shocked and surprised and I was like kind of shaky and I didn't really like understand. Here I am at work and my kid is at school and someone's hitting him because they're upset with him or they're picking on him. When I was in fifth grade in elementary school, I was bullied. Every day when I came home from school and checked my computer, I wanted to cry and that I did cry a lot. You don't want to believe it's happening, even though it is, and you're kind of, I don't know, when it was happening to me, I was kind of like, I couldn't come to terms with it. So I didn't, I didn't want to tell anyone, and because when you tell, you feel like that you might be snitching or you're a tattletale, but you're not. It's okay to be a snitch and a tattletale. Those are just names that they make up so they don't get into trouble. I actually have an example of when I was a bully. I've been bullied too. I've been in both situations and I can tell you that both are not good situations to be in because you feel bad either way. If you are the bully, you know you're doing wrong, but there's something inside of you that tells you to do it anyways. I don't think it'll ever be the same. I think I still carry that burden with me and I think any bully would carry a burden with you. 20 years from now, any bully would remember what they did when they were in elementary school even because it makes that big of an impact on people's lives. My son's been put in a headlock. He's been hit. He's been picked on verbally. He, the verbal abuse has just gotten to be so much. Um, when I was being bullied and I would come home 
I just felt helpless. Like I wanted to, well, I, I did, I just cried a lot and I thought, what, what am I doing wrong? You know, maybe, maybe I did something to her or maybe all my friends don't like me. I was, I was terrified to go to school. I'd like to see that every school has an anti-bullying policy and a challenge day where the kids get together and they break down the walls and the barriers that they have and they really get to know one another instead of just seeing each other as a stereotype. I think that people become bullies because they're insecure about themselves and it makes them feel better. People who are bullies have usually been bullied in the past. From being a bully myself at one time, I can say that any bully can change because if I did, I think that anyone else can. If you feel like you're alone or there's no one to talk to, you have no one there, or that this is just gonna go on every day and everyone's against you, just know that it's going to get better. It's not gonna stay bad forever. It gets better. It will always get better. It gets better. It will get better. Just know that it always gets better. It will get better.